Hey everyone, welcome to Apple to iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how you can download older versions of macOS installers. A lot of individuals are at, reaching out to me trying to get my copies, which is fine and I don't mind sharing them. Uh, they are the original legit from Apple. I am not making any issues or changes to the actual installer. You have to be careful where you get the installer from because some individuals can manipulate the installer by extracting it and putting it into another package inside the installer. So when it's installing, it may look 100% legit, but it might be installing some keylogger or some other sense to that. So if you want to download it at your own convenience, just to be safe directly from Apple, this is the way to do it. Now again, there's two ways to do this. Now I'm gonna show actually one, two, there's three ways to do this really, but it's technically two. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you open up the App Store and you try to look for, we'll just say OS X uh, High Sierra, like you normally would di do back in the day when you wanted to install an OS X uh, version of installer. So now here, as you can see, it doesn't pop up. Not, no results found. If I do uh, just Sierra about apps, that show the word Sierra in their text. So it can be in the title itself, it can probably be in the keyword itself, but that's it. So now if I wanted to say, okay, I'm physically running uh, about this Mac here, I'm running 10.14.2, which is Mojave. Uh, so now if you wanted to go and do Mojave uh, OS 10, of course it's gonna show you it's not there, OS 10. Mojave, it's all depending how you type it out. And then there, it doesn't show up because it says OS 10 there. So now if you minus that space, there it is, now it pops up. So you have to be very specific when you want to look for it. So this is Mac OS Mojave. So I want to download this, so I hit view and I can hit get right here. Then it's going to open up this window here for your software update, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why would they put it as software update. It's not really a software update. I just want the installer. So when you're downloading an app, it doesn't open this window. So it says, are you sure you want to download macOS Mojave 10.14.2? I already have it. I can go ahead and download if I want. And then in a moment, it should change to where you want to download. But what if you had an older computer? What if you're fixing someone's computer and say that computer you're fixing uh, doesn't support Mojave? There it is, Mojave is up and running. So what if you wanted to download like High Sierra, Sierra, El Capitan, Mavericks? Because like the other day I was imaging a client's computer, they had a 2009 MacBook Pro, but Mojave doesn't support it. Hi Sierra doesn't support it. Sierra doesn't support it. Uh, how do I get those older versions if I wanted to? And here you cannot do that. So now I did it with a specific word, OS 10 Mojave. So now if I do Hi Sierra, it's not gonna find anything. If I just remove the OS 10, it's gonna find Hi Sierra, anything related to their keywords for their specific apps. So now you can do is go in Apple's website. You want to go look for the search, and you have to be very specific. If you type in OS 10 Sierra, and you want to upgrade to it, will you be able to find it? I wonder. So when you go here, everything here is Mojave. This one up here would be Mojave. This is security information for Mojave. You know, so you need to be very specific. So now what you can do, you can erase the upgrade, leave Sierra there make a space and just type in OS 10 Sierra. Hit enter and we're gonna hope, there we go. How to upgrade to Mac OS Sierra. That is the one you want. So when you select it, it's gonna show you the compatibility. Here, how to upgrade to Mac OS Sierra. You wanna check the compatibility if your computer can support it or their client, the client computer you're fixing. Here's the recommended memory and the gigabytes of available storage. But if you scroll down, you can say it shows here to make a backup. That's really up to your discretion. Uh, get connected to install. You don't really need internet. You only need internet to download this and you can watch my other video in how to make a USB bootable drive so you can boot it from that USB without internet and get that Mac up and running. So now here it says download Mac OS Sierra. So basically here you can click this link but it goes back to Mojave. You don't want Mojave. If you want that specific installer you go down here where it says 
If you still need Mac OS Sierra, here is a specific hidden link. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to take me to it. And as you can see, we look for this, but we could not find it. Now you can hit get if you want to download it. It's going to try to find the update, but now it's going to clash because I'm running Mojave and it's not going to allow me to download it. So watch for a moment. And then there you go. It says update not found. The requested version of macOS is not available. So it's like, come on, how am I going to download? So you're trying to help me and I still can't download. And look, it reverts back to Mojave and you cannot download it for anything. So, so on the older versions of OS 10, you are allowed to download older versions. So you can go to your purchases section. So like here on Mojave, I'm on Mojave. I had Sierra, Hi Sierra, El Capitan, Maverick, so forth. You select here where it says your name, your company, and whatever it is. It doesn't give you purchases anymore. So if you select this, these will be all your purchase apps. So when you look through here, there won't be any Mojave. There won't be any OS 10 installers or so forth. So there's another way to do this, but again, you got to pay for it. And why would you need to pay for something that it's been free and you've had it before and you can't download it again? So here, basically, if you close this and then you go to your developer account, a developer account is 100% free, uh, but there's certain restrictions. So if you go under your account, my account logs me in. Now, I am not a developer anymore and my account has expired. But if you go on the left-hand side here where it says downloads, click that. And then under your downloads, you can get all the beta releases and so forth that are coming out, which is great, wonderful. But the thing is, what if you want an older version? You still can't download it. You go to see more downloads. You can go here. You can look for it in this nice, wonderful, long list. But I'm going to tell you, you're not going to be able to find High Sierra or Sierra in here at all. Now, if you want those specific two great you got to find another avenue and i'll show you on step two and how to do that so right now i'm looking i'm scrolling down here there's a lot of debug so forth now if you uncheck these categories and just say you want something specific you know so let's go through the kernel uh windows migration and you keep looking you keep looking you keep looking there's cache uh, wrangler uh, keep looking now you're gonna get to it Ah, there you go there is the build for 10 10 10 10 3 for Yosemite but you still don't see 10 11 you don't see 10 12 you don't see 12 13 and of course 10 14 is the one that's out right now so this is Yosemite but if you keep scrolling down there's your Mavericks now you can download the older version of Mavericks if you want to here's another version of Mavericks you want to download so basically that is the only way you can download it now what is the second step in how to do this? So the second step is basically, let's close this. We've tried that. We're gonna to go to my Apple Remote Desktop here. We're gonna remote into my Mac Pro. And under my Mac Pro, I'm physically running an older version of the operating system. My Mac Pro, this is 2012, it can support Mojave, but I don't wanna put it in Mojave because this is the best way I can get to the original Apple installers that are legit. So here's a 2012, it's 10.13.6. So let me close this, open up the App Store. I'm gonna go to the App Store here, and then say if I wanna do, again, OS 10 Sierra. I'm gonna look for it, it doesn't show up at all. It shows the keywords for those specific apps. If I go under my purchases, I would have to sign in, similar to what I did on my other computer, on my iMac, and but on my Mac Pro, I don't have it signed up because I use this login specifically for my photos. So now, if you wanted to do a search and say, okay, let me look for a search for OS 10 Sierra. Again, you cannot look for it. So now, if I go and get out of here, let me go into my Safari, and then if I go back to Apple to that website of Apple.com, do a search, and then I want to do OS 10 Sierra. And we're going to hope, there we go, we get the how to upgrade a Mac OS Sierra. You click on this, you scroll down to that specific link that you still need Sierra. Click on get Mac OS Sierra, opens the App Store, and it brings you to the download. You hit download, it says, would you like to continue? You know you have a newer version than what you're downloading. Yeah, I do. Download. Continue. There you go. 
this is how you can download your OS 10 installer if you want the OS 10 installer from 10.14 and older actually 10.13 and older because on your Mojave you cannot do that at all so this is installing Sierra so now here I got a pop-up says how to install the Mac OS version it's too old for the version of the Mac yeah that's fine quit I'm gonna quit that because now I'm gonna to go to my applications under my applications and there it goes there's my install for the Mac OS Sierra directly from Apple not touched by anybody else doesn't have other kind of packaging to it or so forth this is the best way how to download the older versions of the OS 10 by just using an older version of a Mac now say you don't have an older version of a Mac you're everyone's on Mojave and you still want to download well then sadly you can't be able to download an older version uh, you're gonna have to reach out to individuals you can reach out to me send me a link and then I can upload the file to you and then you can download it there and it'll be coming directly from Apple now if you didn't want to do it that way and you want to get it from Apple directly currently at this time being with version 10.14.2 you cannot do that and you're gonna to have to wait until a new patch is updated so that it can fix this problem or issue in how to download an older version and hopefully you can still be able to do it hopefully this is not Apple's kind of thought or process to say hey we're gonna prevent this from anybody downloading an older version so it's always great to stay on an older version before you get to the latest version of an OS 10 because you have no idea what drawbacks you're gonna get or issues and then have problems all right, well, thanks for visiting Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe. They greatly appreciate it. Put a like on this video if you do enjoy these kind of videos and if you like me to present more videos of this type. All right, well, thank you again. Well, actually, today's Christmas, so we'll have a great Christmas if you guys celebrate.